and welcome back to the channel let's wait for everybody to get through this intersection on this video I want to talk about the possibility of a spike in e-bike sales And I'm going to tell you why and that why is because the US federal government has reintroduced the e-bike tax credit uh, bill so we'll see if it goes through this time and if it does that'll be great news for all of those looking to purchase an e-bike either for the first time or maybe second third or beyond that how many times so uh i don't know when this would be voted on i could not find that out but a few things that are a little bit different this time around than the last time they tried to do this in 2021 is at that time for a single person filing single in taxes you could not be making more than $75,000 to be able to claim for this uh, tax credit. Well, now they've changed that. They basically doubled it. So now you can make $150,000. So, or, or, or up to $150,000, I should say. And if you're making $150,000 or beyond, first of all, congratulations to you because most of us don't make that kind of money. But if, we, if you do, then you're not eligible. And if you're filing jointly, with another then you can make up to three hundred thousand dollars so so basically <clears throat> most of us anyway will be able to uh, assuming this bill goes through we'd be able to take advantage of the, the tax credit. Now, a couple of other things about this is that past the stop sign here, is that uh, uh, before, on the, on the 2021 bill, the maximum you could spend on a bike to receive the tax tax credit was going to be four thousand dollars and assuming this bill goes through you'll be able to buy a bike up to uh stay below eight thousand dollars and you'll be able to receive the tax credit so up to eight thousand dollars and most e-bikes that we buy out there unless they're an actual motorcycle most e-bikes are going to fall well below the eight thousand dollars for most of us anyway so i mean for me personally the minor in the three thousand under four thousand dollars under thirty five hundred actually so at that rate i would be perfectly fine so basically what they're saying is 30%. Now, I don't know if this is 30% across the board or are they going to have it a little bit uh, dependent on, for example, if you have a cargo bike, that's 30%. If you have a regular bike like I have here, just a, a Lyric Graffiti, you can only collect 20%. 
so that I don't know I just read that it's 30 percent and the way it was the way I took it was 30 percent across the board but we'll see on that one and the maximum payout or credit you can receive is fifteen hundred dollars so basically that's the maximum you can receive on a bike that you purchase um, so even if you purchase an eight thousand dollar or seventy five hundred dollar bike you can't claim thirty 30% of that because that would put you well over the $1,500 but still either way if you max it out and get the $1,500 it's still going to save you a pretty good chunk of change right there so the other the other uh, part of this too would be you would only be able to claim a credit every three years but if you're filing jointly Obviously, you each can claim uh, one credit uh, per uh, three years, so you get two in that case, but so one per person. So every three years, go ahead and buy a new bike and save yourself, assuming this goes through. I'll keep saying assuming because it hasn't gone through yet, it hasn't been passed, but kind of hope it does, and I, I wouldn't be surprised if it actually went through this time, but we'll see. And something else about this, though, I wonder about is if I remember the last time, I could be wrong on this. I might have read a different one. There's been so many things that I've read that I don't know. Maybe, that, maybe I'm totally wrong, but I thought you had to actually go into a store and purchase the bike but gee I don't know that would be not fair to all the people that buy online because that's most of us and the other thing so I don't know about that how that would work and then the other thing would be what if you purchased a bike and it wasn't from the USA so say I'm purchasing a bike like the one I'm riding the Lyric graffiti which the company is out of British Columbia Canada would I still be entitled to the 30% tax credit because if that is uh, not going to be uh, credited because I bought it at a from a company that wasn't US based then that's going to uh, that might put a shift in uh, where people spend their money, you know, like on where they buy their bike. And uh, so a lot of other places like China and wherever else, you know, bikes are coming from besides the U.S., uh, it may put a shift on here for uh, people to look for a bike more from the United States as opposed to... Uh, Uh, you know other play other uh, countries so we'll we'll see um, I'll keep an eye on this and uh, and see where it goes and hopefully it uh, it all works and we get uh, up to 30% or 30% off I mean that sure would help a lot of people in purchasing a bike I think we would definitely see I'm positive we would see a spike in uh, e-bike sales and uh, that would be great I mean there's many reasons why that would be a good thing including great for the environment which we need to be working on for sure so let's see where this goes Keep our fingers crossed on this and hopefully if it works in the US now there are other countries that may have because I haven't really looked too much of this I know a while back there was a story on France uh, doing something but let's see uh, 
let's see if this kick starts some other uh, countries if they don't already have it for example uh, my home country of uh, birth country of Canada among other countries let's see what happens with this so anyway that's going to do it for this video if you have any comments to make on this video or any other videos go ahead and leave that in the comments below if you like this video hit the like button also if you want to subscribe to the channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button and if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified also I do have a link for this particular bike the Lyric Graffiti if you'd like to purchase one I do have a link in the descriptions just hit that link head over there and I have a discount code Oregon e-biker mark all one word and that will save you $150 off the purchase of a bike that's Oregon e-biker mark all one word gets you $150 off the Lyric Graffiti so once again thank you for joining me on this video and until next time take care